now, We 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Carson Meredith with 31 Triple Dollar. You watch weather in other parts of the of the country or other mm -hmm. parts of the world right now, and we think we're grateful we're not dealing yeah. with that. But what we are dealing with is very significant, and uh, we have to be on the lookout. We today. do. And the, the difference with today and tonight's storms is there's right. going to be several waves of storms. Also, some of those severe storms could be overnight tonight, and that always makes me a little me nervous too. Right. because a lot of you are going to be sleeping as these severe storms roll through. So let's remind you of that severe weather checklist again. We like to do this from time to time as we get some new visitors and new residents across North Alabama. Always make sure you have multiple ways to get those warnings. We recommend two options, one of which baseline is a NOAA weather radio. Trust me, if you're a deep sleeper, that radio is going to wake you up if warnings are issued. We also recommend downloading our Way 31 Storm Tracker weather app. That too will give you those watches and warnings as soon as they are issued. And you can also track those storms in real time with our 31 triple Doppler. Also make sure you know where your shelter is, keep your phones charged up, and we'll be here all afternoon, all evening, and all night tracking those storms for you as they roll in later today. This morning, it's not rain or severe weather we're worried about, it's fog again. That's the view of the SkyCam network, or at least a few SkyCams around the area. See that fog getting a little bit worse out at the Space and Rocket Center. Decatur, that fog is clearing up nicely, at least right in town. Same story goes for the Shoals. The worst of the fog so far this morning has been in northeast Alabama. So wherever you are, an extra five to ten minutes on your commute isn't a bad idea. Make sure you take it very slowly around those bus stops too. Temperatures are in the mid to upper 60s at the moment, and before those storms get going today, we'll reach the upper 80s. Now, as the kids are heading home this afternoon, I expect to at least see a couple of storms starting to dot the map. The time frame for our alert day is 2 o'clock this afternoon until 6 tomorrow morning. 31 triple Doppler for now is quiet. Let's go to the Great Plains. This system that's causing all kinds of heavy rain in Kansas this morning will be our troublemaker this afternoon and tonight. Kind of a two part system, if you will. The first issue is going to be this warm front across Arkansas and Mississippi. This will move into North Alabama later today, warming us up, of course, but also setting off a few scattered showers and storms. That's for this afternoon and this evening. Overnight tonight, we'll have this cold front getting closer to North Alabama, and that's going to be the source for better chances, not only for storms in general, but also severe weather too. But it's very difficult to nail down the exact timing of every single cluster of storms that's going to roll through this afternoon and tonight. So let's just say after 2 o'clock today, through this evening, and overnight tonight, anywhere during that time frame, we could see severe storms. Here's future radar, 3 o'clock today. I'm not necessarily worried about severe weather at the onset of this mess, but some heavier rain and gusty winds can't be ruled out this afternoon. Around 6 or 7 o'clock tonight, here comes a cluster of showers and storms. This is when our severe weather threat is going to start to go up with damaging wind gusts, heavy rain, large hail, maybe even a tornado as well. We can't forget about that potential, but the main focus is damaging wind. Overnight tonight, as that cold front gets closer, we'll be watching all of these storms in Tennessee that will slowly move to the south. And on the leading edge of those clusters of storms will be our highest potential for damaging wind. And by this time tomorrow morning, we're likely transitioning from a severe weather concern to a very heavy rain threat. Tomorrow morning's commute is going to be a mess, no other way to put it. And we'll still have some scattered showers and storms around all day tomorrow and also through this weekend. Rain chances are a little lower Saturday and Sunday, but still those summertime pop-ups will be around. 10-day forecast shows, in general, lower rain chances heading into next week, and that means high temperatures climb back into the low 90s.